Good morning, it is Vlogmas Day 11. And I am Shayna of The Wealth 5, and I create videos to help you eliminate debt, grow your income, and build wealth. And for Vlogmas, I am taking you on a day in my life. So let's get into it. So the first order of business for today is to wash my hair. So mainly for today, I'm going to be prepping for the interview that I have tomorrow. I have an all-day interview where I think I'm interviewing with six different people, maybe five different people throughout the day. It's my second interview for a job that I really, really want. This job that I really, really want. <laughs> so I need to wash my hair, not just because it's the interview, but because my hair needs to be washed and it's been in this bun for a few days and I want to wear my hair down. So I definitely need to wash my hair and then I have a few other things to do related to prepping for this all day interview tomorrow. So I'm about to get in the shower, wash my hair, and then we're actually going to head out on the road and get a few things done. A few people have been asking me to do a, um, a hair tutorial on how to do my hair and I will probably be doing that in another Vlogmas Day video. So my hair is done and I now need to wash a few items so that I can wear them tomorrow for my interview. So I'm also going to go ahead and just, I guess, do laundry generally. So I'm gonna just wash two pieces of clothes. So I'm about to do that. Okay, so I have a few minutes before I have to leave. So I'm gonna get on my computer and respond to an email so the interview that i had yesterday she already wrote me back i haven't even had a chance to send her a thank you message usually i wait like 24 hours before i send a thank you message just so that i'm on their mind the next day as well so um i haven't even had a chance to send her a thank you message but she was like i didn't even read the whole message but she basically i think said that she wanted me to talk to somebody else um, damn, and then the other people wrote me back too just now. Okay, what did she say? She said, I would like you to talk to my colleague. So, yeah. So that went well, like I thought. And then, um, the other person... <laughs> I just got an email from the most random sponsorship ever before. <laughs> I swear these companies just contact anybody, huh? But anyway, um, this was about the last the interview that I had um, on Monday. So she's just saying thank you. It was a nice, um, nice to hear from you. We'll be following up with you soon. So okay. So yep. Now I need to respond to some comments and respond back to the email on my computer. I like to respond to emails on my computer. I don't know why. Like, I respond to things on my phone, like, if it's, like, a very quick, like, thank you. <laughs> thank you. No problem. Yes. <laughs> Those are the types of emails that I send my, from my phone. Otherwise, I'm like, I gotta get on the computer to do it. It's probably the wrong mindset, but just that's just how I do things. Um... Okay, so I'm back over here at the house because the cabinet guy is here and my boyfriend wanted me to give my input on the cabinets we should use. So I'm about to walk in right now. Hey. You could open this. Let me show you. I've consulted um, Pinterest. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I consulted you too. So. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Uh, no, that's not. So like something kind of like this, if you... You know, I had a thought about something like that because yeah. I was thinking you could still keep the counter right. in the workspace and then it just, yeah, yeah. that makes so a lot of sense. I think that looks really good yeah. if you... And it has the big window here, so I think that would look really good. Yeah. That just depends on the price, you know? Yeah. Because you have HVAC on this wall and everything, so that would have to go and be possibly... You have two on that side, so you should be all right. I don't have to relocate it, but... Um, because I think that looks like really good, just extending the step here, mm -hmm. you know, and I think people would like me like 
that's yeah. a like wow factor kind of thing yeah i definitely yeah. like that one um that you first showed for sure or <laughs> And I like this too, kind of, I guess. Same concept. Yep, same concept. Yeah, okay. Where did it go? Oh, right here, one. yeah. Yeah, so I think that'll be really nice with the... Yeah, that would be nice. Mm -hmm. It's a little idea. Because <laughs> I'm like, this is just weird. I'm like, okay, so do we go that way or do we come this way? Yeah, and I was like, do, yeah, it's like yeah. so many different ways you can go. Right. So. I like her idea. I don't know how. Um, oh, I thought I didn't tell you that idea. Which one? Oh, she did. Oh, like, oh, okay. So you go ahead and yeah, take credit for that. So, babe, my idea is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, now it's to have the um, the countertop still stay there, but then just have like the back of this um, be like a display case, kind of. Um, so it's like still the cabinets and everything are there. You would take out the upper cabinets. She has a picture of it. Here. So the cabinets would still stay here. You have to move the, the, the refrigerator. But the cabinets would still stay here. So you have a countertop that you could work with. All right, so then all of this is gone. See? That's not what's registered. Me and him, we here. Well, 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 I was well, telling you about yeah. that kind of just being a waste of money yeah. down there. You ain't going to yeah. get one more penny. Yeah. Same thing over here. This and this combo is going to cost you more. Okay. Plus, it's, you know, you really don't have a lot of power right. top right. space. Right, right, right. I would go back with a regular stove. Got you. And then the yeah. power top right there. Mm -hmm. Got you. And just go regular cabinets here. So, nah. In here? No. I don't think you need granite in here. You need a cabinet, man. That's terrible. <laughs> yeah, he, he has a he has a wood shop in his garage, and he I think made all this. I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he said, "I can tell." <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, he said, mm. "I got a microwave too, but I ain't no chef." <laughs> I heard that. Oh. You ain't got to do nothing to that. I can adjust these hinges for you. Mm -hmm. you get it. They ain't, they're fine. Okay. The door just has popped up. Perfect, perfect. I wouldn't do nothing. I wouldn't do nothing to paint that. Okay. And he said, "In here, I paint them too." Okay. Oh, so you, nice yeah. you can replace these cabinets, you spend seven hundred dollars replacing these cabinets. Uh, I'd paint yeah, that. So I'm actually really excited about what we decided to do with the kitchen. I think it's going to like sell really well. Um actually the cabinet guy the cabinet guy actually um, gave my boyfriend an offer. He was like, this house is a gem. He was like, if you make an offer, we could close before Christmas. <laughs> my boyfriend was like, ah, now nah, I'm about to make a couple bands off this. So I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna sell it to you. So now I'm actually headed to the mall for two different reasons. One, we need to get a chair so that my boyfriend can sit in when he records the videos for his course. And I actually forgot to mention to this, this to him um but i need to go to at home and go peruse and like take some pictures of things and see what he likes because he didn't want to sit in my desk chair he's like i want something grand so i'm like okay whatever so i'm gonna go look at chairs at, at home and at home happens to be in the mall and then while i'm in the mall i want to go to h&m i think that's the only store that they have that i can go to but uh, i want to go and see if i can find a shirt to wear for my interview tomorrow this is going to be my second interview and i only have one dress shirt <laughs> um because i never really i don't really like button up shirts that much um and i only have like one really really nice one and so i want to go and get another shirt just because I'm also interviewing with um, one of the same people that interviewed with last time. I know it's probably not necessary, but I kind of just need dress shirts in general. Um, so I'm gonna just go ahead and go see if I can find another shirt. Otherwise, I will be wearing the same shirt that I wore last time to the interview. And so that's what I'm about to do is head to the mall. And the funny thing is, I recently just went to the mall for the first time like three weeks ago and since then I've been to the mall like this will be my third time going to the mall um, but I never bought anything out of the mall hopefully maybe today I'll be able to find like I said a shirt and also be able to find a, um, a chair so maybe this will be my first purchase from this mall but that mall is not worth a, a thing <laughs> really it's like it's just nothing in there 
and we went the other day because I was like, oh, let's just go check out the mall. Let's see what they got. Just the past time, it was a whole waste of time because there was even nothing to look at. So I think this is the type of chair that he actually wants, a wing back type of chair. Let's see how much it costs. Okay, so it costs $299. This one looks nice too. I don't know if it'll blend into the background and his skin too much, but I like it. I love this Christmas tree. Never seen a blue one like this. So nice. I didn't see many options here. He might like the two that I did find, but we might need to also go to like somewhere like Pier 1. We also have um, Ashley's Furniture here, Kirkland's, and I think that's pretty much it in terms of places to get furniture that I think would match the aesthetic. So I'm going to get up out of here. So I'm back in the car. I found a shirt from H&M for a couple dollars. It was on sale. And so I'm going to wear that tomorrow. And I also was able to get an ugly Christmas sweater shirt. Or a sweater. Ugly Christmas sweater. And um, that was also on sale for, I think, $9. And the thing is, the when we were in there, I guess, last week, just perusing i was like oh this is a cute ugly christmas sweater especially since my ugly christmas sweater is in my storage unit and i've worn it to the same party that we're going to i think on saturday i've worn it to that same party for the past two years <laughs> in a row and so i was telling my boyfriend i was like oh maybe i should get this and he was like oh i'll buy it for you and i was like ah, nah so um i don't remember what the regular price was let me see but um it was on sale for for nine dollars eight ninety nine and regular price was twenty five dollars so it's a good thing that i waited um but i'll show it to y'all on the day that we go to the party but i was sitting in here looking through um chairs at pure one on their website because my boyfriend says he likes those chairs but he doesn't like the the studs that go around the chair and so um i was looking at pier one to see if they had similar chairs and they do have very similar chairs um but the studs are on the side and kind of like the side back of it so you can't really see it's not front facing like the ones here at home but i'm hungry so before we go to bible study later tonight we're either we're probably going to stop by pier one or something like that to check those chairs out instead and like i said i'm hungry i don't even think it could fit in my car my seats do let down in the back but i'll just wait until he's here so that we can figure it out instead of me wrestling with a chair by myself trying to fit in my little honda civic his seats his car is much bigger he has like a full-size sedan but his seats do not let down in the back whereas you know mines do and so i think if his seats let down that would have been better but anyway we'll figure that out out later i'm about to go home and eat some of this leftover indian one of the thing, good things about that indian spot is that they give so much food like we literally have enough food for us to both eat lunch and dinner and maybe even lunch again tomorrow <laughs> Okay, so I'm headed back over to the property because the actual contractor is coming over now. And um, his numbers are going to determine whether the house is flipped or wholesale. And my boyfriend, <laughs> he needs help with uh, communicating the, the plans for the kitchen. So I'm about to head over there. It's only like um 14 minutes away so i'm gonna go over there do that and then come back and grade and there's another picture i'll, I'll get it from uh, uh jim what he did was he actually he had the granite the uh, company actually extend it to the shower and use it as like a ledge mm -hmm. yeah it's, it's that's kind of cool it looked yeah. good <laughs> I, I, I wish I had a picture of it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. But mm. uh, but yeah, definitely raise this up, have it level, yeah. and then let's go eat glass, I guess. And yeah, that's weird. Step down and 
Yeah. <laughs> and then you got to get out, and if you have a long day, I'm going to get Yeah. You can actually get out. But, <laughs> but yeah, she rock this. Yeah. Take this up, more than likely go with some can lights or maybe some type of above the mirror, mm -hmm. some type of lights. Got it. Now, what I need to have my electrician, I guess, route the wires if I do go with two, two I different lights. I do all that. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Of course, cover plates, wallpaper, something like this is what we're going for. Mm -hmm. This being the living room, obviously. So, I explained, I guess you can say. So, yeah, so just like cut this wall in half, I guess, mm -hmm. so, so it kind of be counter a height. counter height. Yeah. yeah. You're looking about right here, all the way across. Yeah, and then. Um, they'll put in the cabinets, I guess, and the refrigerator is going to go on that end. Right. So that way you can cut all the way up until where the refrigerator is, and that's pretty much it. Yeah. <laughs> all right, man. Mike, thank you. Hey, nice seeing you. Nice seeing you, too. All right, more people, call your people. <laughs> <laughs> See from the side. Yeah. Mm. So these bottles, my mom would love these bottles. <laughs> so, do you have the cleanup out here too? Up here too? Not necessarily. So we just arrived at Bible study. We go to Bible study at Columbus State University, but it's um, hosted by a faith chapel. And so we're about to go in there. There's a difference between old covenant and new covenant, even though we say it is huge. Okay. So we're going to talk about something. This is an old covenant. Now, what we're, what we're preaching tonight and what we're going to discuss is relevant won't care what covenant you under. How would you define sacrifice? I'm selfish. I'm selfless. <laughs> <laughs> that was an example, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Being selfless. Not thinking about yourself first, maybe. Like a synonym could be love. For sacrifice? Yeah. It's true. Mother yeah. or child. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so how would you then define obedience? So he's looking for a chair like this for him to record. So we're going to look around and see what colors they have and what other styles. How you doing? How you doing good? It's freezing. Yes, Lord. Wait, what? She want to know if y'all give a uh, sample uh, donut, donut holes. <laughs> oh, uh-uh. We ain't even got that no one. We ain't got no donut holes. <laughs> she cutting up. You ain't even got nothing. <laughs> we ain't got none. Hey. Just fold out. You can All just right. say yourself. Thank you, ma'am. Awesome. Just cutting up. Why are you lying? How much time am I lying? I would never even ask for no sample or nothing. I would for sure, but I didn't. <laughs> I know, that's why you asked. <laughs> Don't believe the hype, guys. So we are back home from Pier 1. We did buy a chair. So this is what we purchased. It is a wing back that is navy blue. I'll try to turn the light over here so you can maybe see a little bit. So that is the chair that he will be using to film the course in. So the course we will start filming on Friday. So you'll get to see everything, the whole entire setup, all the things that we're using, and also see behind the scenes of him filming the course that will begin on Friday. But I'm about to wrap up this night. So I still have a few more things to do to prepare for my interview tomorrow, like steaming my suit. <laughs> so I'm about to steam my suit and my shirt that I've got today 
and do some other prep things like review some of their journal articles so that way I can sound knowledgeable on the topic when I have the interview tomorrow and it's gonna be a long interview like four hour interview so I'm about to wrap up the night get this video uploaded for you and I'll catch you tomorrow